similarly to the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher Batman movies and a whole variety of other movies from the third and fourth Terminator movies and a whole variety of others I am perfectly capable of watching the Harry Potter movies as a form of light entertainment. You watch it, you follow the plot along, you enjoy as the action happens and as the plot and as the plot develops. And then the story ends, and then, and then the movie ends, and then you move on to do something else. And you don't have to do a lot of thinking afterwards or during the watching of the movie. And so it's just occupying that time as light, gentle, uncritical, untroublesome entertainment. But when you actually go back and actually think about the Harry Potter movies and actually try to critically analyse them, you realise just how badly they actually are written and how when it comes to actually epic, interesting, fascinating storylines, they actually are found very lacking and it's kind of similar to the whole Fifty Shades of Grey phenomenon. The fact that romantic and erotic fiction have been around in our bookshops being published for generations and yet the particular book that becomes ultra super popular and becomes converted into a movie is actually one of the poorest written that you could imagine in comparison to other epic novels of romantic erotic fiction Fifty Shades of Grey is worthless and yet it's super popular it was made into it was made onto the big screen and so when you look at Harry Potter as a teenage fantasy mystery series it is not that good and yet it's the one that's become super popular you know, name recognition made into a full set of eight movies and so it's actually not that fair here's what I mean so when you actually look at the core plot line that the Harry Potter movies take especially the first four, you'll notice that there's a pretty standard model in place which takes on the teenage mystery tr which takes on the teenage mystery storyline model. So even though it might be marketed as primarily a fantasy series, Harry Potter in the first four books at least is primarily a mystery series where you realize the ma where our ma our heroes realize that something suspicious is happening behind the scenes they collect some information they draw conclusions they investigate further they make predictions about who's done what and why and they collect more information and then there's a twist where they discover that they were wrong that there's someone else to blame for all of this and then there's the epic climax when our heroes fight off against the villain and they win and so it seems fairly obvious that J.K. Rowling borrowed the core ideas for her Harry Potter series from the traditional 
mainstream works of British teenage history novels. She more or less borrows, some might even say plagiarises, that style of storytelling and just places it into a fantasy setting. And fantastical of a setting because it is literally in a high school where our characters are playing out their storyline and so as fantastical as it might be it's still pretty much a sort of environment a culture which our readers your, which the readers and the viewers would immediately be familiar with it's not something that we'd be unfamiliar with and so that's the first thing the actual plot structure is pretty much standard orthodox mystery, teenage mystery novels, and there's nothing wrong with borrowing from a particular style, but as far as praising J.K. Rowling for any, any sort of genius is completely unfounded, because in terms of actually adding something new to the world of literature, or the world of fant fantasy, or the world of storytelling, she hasn't done anything.